The air is so polluted that it's darkened the sky. Air pollution causes hundreds of thousands of premature deaths in China. Nitrogen dioxide is an invisible gas. What is air pollution? Air pollution is the result of bad fumes being released into the air by exhausts, chimneys, or even smoking. This is Catherine. Just like the other 29 million people in the UK, she owns a car. Over 7 million people every year die prematurely worldwide due to air pollution alone. As there is 10,000 kilograms of CO2 released in the air for every driver per year, if all the 29 million registered cars in the UK were on the road, then that would make a total of 290 billion kilograms of CO2. Despite pollution levels lowering in the EU, major cities such as London are suffering from the worst air quality they have ever seen and is growing. Here we are in central Rochdale, a town just north of Manchester, one of the biggest metropolitan cities in England. As a team, we've gone out and interviewed as many different people as we can on air pollution, and if they realise just how bad it is. Well, I've noticed a lot of um, walking about in winter, and you get the traffic, you feel like tightness in your chest when you're oh, breathing right. in, so I don't know whether that's anything to do with air pollution. And you can normal smell it sometimes. Well, it comes from industry, um, humans. <laughs> there are also other aspects of air pollution that we should be looking at, specifically the effects and solutions and the effects on public health. Our research tells us that 95% of respondents think that air pollution has a negative impact on public health. So we've contacted a council officer named Laura to tell us what her ideas are as to help us solve these issues. The gases that are released into the atmosphere from vehicle pollution are harmful and they can affect people who are already suffering health problems. For example, it can worsen heart and lung diseases and it can cause inflammation to the lungs. Uh, the release of carbon monoxide prevents the uptake of oxygen to the blood and um, it affects how much of oxygen goes to the heart. It's all around us and many things can cause it. Looking around you, you can see all the cars, buses, even construction going on. But even though it's all around us, not many people think about it. So what is air pollution? I think uh, that probably when we think of air pollution, um, we mostly think of um, things that might be visible, smoke and smog and that kind of stuff. Uh, and perhaps think as well about uh, gases in the air that might be causing damage to the environment, damage to ourselves um, and that can be something of a worry really. As a team, we've conducted a survey on the public asking what type of air pollution causes the biggest impact. We found that out of the three options, 73% of people said that the cause of most air pollution was fossil fuels. 10% said a rising population Another 10% said indoor pollution, and the remaining 7% stated that they didn't know. So what are the solutions to this? Fossil fuels such as gas and coal take up a large percent of our market. Is there a way to reduce this consumption on a public level? Think about the way in which they use their, their cars um, themselves and, and, and try to use them less, and maybe become more aware that if they use public transport that will uh, help to cut down on pollution. Um, in, a more, in a more general environmentally uh, aware thing, it, just the way in which we dispose of our rubbish would help um, to cut down on pollution because uh, lots of the stuff that we dispose of these days is in fact burned and that causes uh, a great deal of pollution in the atmosphere. In 2012, shares in renewable energy sources was at a measly 11.7%. With only two years time, this grew to an incredible 19%. This shows that usage in renewable energy sources are growing. How can we keep this up? 
inevitably, I suppose, using uh, television and other media to do so, really. It's just a matter of, of uh, making the public take interest in it, really. Because even if you hear these things, you don't always get uh, the feeling that you ought to do something about it. From this, we know that we can prevent the effects of air pollution. It's just a matter of the public taking interest, from turning off light switches, to switching off plug sockets, to reduce energy consumption. This needs to end. This needs to stop. This is our world.